Welcome back to The Way We Farm. It is Monday, and after three weeks plus and a couple days with no rain, we finally got measurable rain. We got six tenths, so things are already looking better. My spirits have improved. I think everybody in the ag community is feeling better. So I just jumped in the gator. This tank in the back, ignore what that says, but uh, this tank in the back, we were using that to water Christmas trees. I went out and just looked at Diane's trees. They look phenomenal. I swear they jumped today. So this here corn is our test plot. We planted, I believe on the, I wanna say it was the 13th of May, but this corn is jumping. It's got good color. It has been a slow start because it's been so dry, but I think it's finally gonna hit the nitrogen. And I think if everything goes according to plan, Tomorrow, or we might get a little more rain Wednesday or Thursday, but tomorrow we'd like to get our milo or grain sorghum planted. And by the end of the week, I'd love to have our dry beans in. So like I say, I'm feeling a lot better about things. Things are looking good. So hopefully we get the rest of our crops planted and things will grow. Leave a comment. I hope you got rain in your area this week. If you didn't, I feel for you because that was a long stretch. We were dry before that and we got extremely dry. So if uh, if you got rain, let me know. If you didn't get rain, I'm sorry. Let me know. And uh, yeah, let's see what this week brings. Follow along. So we finally got that rain we were desperately waiting for. So Troy strip tilling this for our Milo or grain sorghum, which we've never before, but this is going to be a little experience. So we got we got seven tenths of an inch rain yesterday in the ground from bone dry. It might be a smidge tacky, but by the time he gets rock and rolling, it'll be good. So uh, look at how well that's working off. Those zones are going to be beautiful. So hopefully we know what we're doing. Hopefully we get some good green sorghum out of this field. So yesterday it dried out enough. We were able to go over with the Gladiator and put the nitrogen on and strip till where our 60 acres of grain sorghum or milo are going. I know it's getting late, but I'm already committed to it. So we're probably gonna put it in. So 
Yesterday we did that, but it wasn't dry enough to plant it. And we were going to get a chance of rain today, so I didn't want to plant it and then get a rain on it. So I went and sprayed soybeans. Troy did that. Today it spit a little rain. We only got a couple tents, but we worked on the combine, 9670. So these are the corn and soybean concaves. Yank these out and Troy yanked them out and it's a little hard to see in here, but the wheat concaves have a lot smaller opening. So for people that don't run this style combine or know, know much about it, for wheat, you have to put in the small wire concaves. The back here, these grates stay the same. You don't change these between crops, but between small grains and between, then corn and soybeans use the same grate, the edible beans use the same grate. So yesterday, Troy worked on, excuse me, Monday, Troy worked on tightening up that new belt we put in for the main cylinder drive there. Uh, we put a bunch of belts on this side. Today, we ordered all the belts for the right-hand side of this combine. So this combine's getting a pretty decent overhaul between the motor, the hydro, all new belts on that side. Last year, we changed a bunch of belts on this side. We just put that new main cylinder drive belt in. So concaves look good. Everything looks good. We're uh, getting it wrapped up. We've ordered a new set of tires for it. This set of tires is going to go on after wheat harvest. We do a lot of road work. So these tires are the originals from the combine. It was new, but they're getting, they're getting thin. They don't have much tread left. So if we have a wet fall, we'll be in trouble. So going to put those on this summer. The planter's in here. We serviced it. We looked it over again. We looked it over again. We cleaned the windows on the tractor. We looked it over again. And we'll get the Milo in here in a day or two. So tomorrow's a new new day, new project. And uh, we'll, we'll uh, show you what that how that's going to go. So I've got good news and I've got bad news. The good news is today is the third day of rain this week. The bad news is we didn't get the grain sorghum or Milo in. So... Hopefully Saturday afternoon or Sunday we'll get it in, but I am thrilled that we got this much needed rain. We've only probably had like an inch and a quarter, but I shouldn't say only because it has improved everything. It's been cool. We're still wearing flannel shirts. If our crops turn out good, I'm gonna buy a flannel that doesn't have a ready neck. But uh, we had a great, great week of rain. Monday rain, I think it was Wednesday rain. Today's Friday, we're getting some rain. So we're pretty happy that we got that. It's soaking into the root zone. It's been cool. Yesterday we worked on the pad for our new grain bin, our top dryer we're gonna build. We'll show that in a future video. So it's working on combine. We sell seed. We're out picking up channel uh, pro boxes, the plastic boxes, getting them ready to return. So we're catching up on odds and ends. Hopefully catch up on a little bit of sleep. And uh, the shop's a mess. We've been picking that up a little bit. Next week we'll get back to Milo planting plant our edible beans and get the sprayer rocking and rolling hard so um thanks for watching thanks for following along like and subscribe and we will see you next week with some better content on the way we farm